vloggers pow right i don't do self-promotion very often but i did just find the password for my patreon account so i'm going to pimp that again so if you like what i do consider patreon if not consider kofi if not consider nothing it's fine Okay, let's have a look at four more title arcade games which you might not know about. Okay, so first off we have the Lost Castle in Dark Mist. This is it. Okay, so play one star. We have what appears to be a commando, but with a golden knight. Ooh. Bonus crystal ball. I wonder what my future is going to bring. Probably playing this for a few minutes, oh, I'd imagine. Okay. Alright, so I don't know a lot about this. This is a bit of, a, bit of an odd one for me. You can swing your swords as well with the other button. And uh, these things do you things are uh, getting in the way. The um the fire doesn't appear to be particularly rapid. Can you hold it down? No, you have to check it. This a mini a boss, or it's just some more of these cloaks and dagger dudes. Was that it? Okay. There's a. Oh! Some slime men. Look at them. Look in their faces like they can't face the existential dread of being a mud man. Oh no, my life! What did. My life turned out like this, my. What decisions did I make which turned me into a mud man? Oh, it's better than moving purple rock. It's a bit weird, there's no animations to that rock at all, it's just moving. Oh, it's got a face on it! Weird. Back to the existential dread of being a slime man, mud man, whatever. Oh, and they. Oh, God, it's all got a bit crazy there. It looks a little mud men. Oh, and I'm dead. What? One life? Fuck. Jeez. Okay, well, let's move along. That bombshell. Right, so next up we have. This is called Night Striker. Mysterious city attacking terrorism group. Abducted Doctor and his daughter. On motorbikes. So. Push to start buttons to get into your Blade Runner esque spinnery ship. And let's go! Now, this I have a really strange sort of uh, relationship with. I've never played this in the arcades. Never played it in arcades. But I did have the soundtrack back in the early 90s. It came on a double disc with uh, the Darius 2 soundtrack. So, uh, to me, the two soundtracks are sort of. Uh, inseparable um, and I didn't get to play it until I got the Saturn version uh, ooh, quite a few years later probably to the end of the 90s uh, and of course played it on main as we're doing now and it's, it's okay it's, it's essentially Space Harrier in Blade Runner-ish sort of setting got a number of shields at the bottom of course you lose your shields, it's all death and destruction, but it's a fairly serviceable little um, space area clone. And here comes a uh, boss. I don't know if I can clean that up for a second, I was going to say that would be too easy. Well, it's damaged the shield. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, that was fast. Stage A complete, right. Shield bonus. Do we get any extra shields? Oh, it's a Darius style, or oh, Outrun style, should I say, in this kind of viewpoint. Um, split path sort of thing. Shield extended. I've got an extra shield. Here's stage B in a large factory. Destroy that. 
I'm not sure this is emulating correctly, I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like that, but I'll bump with it, I'm quite happy with the way it's running. Oop. Over and under the uh, strange blocky things. But yes, this is a, a nice game. It's not, I couldn't actually describe it as a classic, but I do like it. A strange sort of um, respect for oh Jesus Christ, um, Taito's attempt at scaling games. Never quite as good as Sega's ones, but still pretty impressive considering. Warning! There we go. It's the boss. I'm going to shoot this. It would look like an angled poised lamp, didn't it? Uh, come on then, come at me. Oh, it's not. It's one of those toy robot claws from the 80s. And it was very easy to destroy. I guess those toys were pretty easy to break. Complete! There we go, another fork in the road here coming up. Oh, let's go see. Let's go to the seaside. Lovely. Shield extended again. Okay, so what's the target? It's a thing. Oh, that's pretty. I was expecting sunshine, but now we've got this, like, a really nice sort of shimmery Golden Gate Bridge thing going on. Been attacked by hovercraft, and I'm sure there's the same hovercraft in that other Tyson game whose name I can't remember. Some brain things and shooting some junks. Oh, why do we want to shoot somebody's pleasure boats up? Be careful, two shields left. Okay, well, some more hovercraft. Going a bit mad. And I've got one shield left. Oh, it's instant death. Shield is breaking up. It is. I had noticed. But yeah, Night Striker is fun. I like Night Striker. I really do like the soundtrack on this. Classic 90s Taito soundtrack. Fantastic. And I've Die any second. Space Harrier tactics here, just go around in circles. Works. A warning, okay, we're gonna to get to this boss, whatever it seems to be some kind of mecha worm thing. Come on, mecha worm. Do your worst. Oh shit. Really has got a lot to throw at me. Oh, there's two of them! Jeez. Not down one Oh no! Damn, there's two of them. You are dead. Yes, Night Striker. I like that. It's fun. Play it. Right, so next up we have... Elevator action returns. Excellent. Now this is good. I'm not going to guarantee I'll make it any good at it, but it's good. Okay, select your character. Carp Bradfield. He carries a glog. Edie Barrett carries a Berletta. And Jad the Taff carries a Dessert Eagle. Dessert Eagle. I think that's like a, a bird of prey covered in ice cream? Who knows? Anyway, mission one. Take the information of the place from set hidden red door. Okay, great. So this is a sequel to Elevator Action, unsurprisingly, and the first stage is very similar to a stage of Elevator Action, as you can see. But after that, it does mix it up. I, I promise. We might even get that far. Who knows? I mean, the graphics are really nice. They're probably quite small, but they're really nicely detailed. That's a nice thing. Detailed graphics. Ooh. Power. Ooh. Heavy machine gun, as they may say in other games. Caution. Oh, I need to get... Need to go up there and get that stuff in the red door, don't I? Oh, 
get data in there. Come on, grab your data. Thank you. Wait for lift. I wonder if I can squash this guy in the... Oh, wow. That hurts. Seriously. I wonder if you squash guys in the lift. That'd be cool if you could. There's some points there. Ooh. Nice. Come on, lift. Have a good day. Oh, creepy looking guy there. Oh, he's dead. Dead creepy guy. Create a new society. Oh, you know. It could be. It's a hell of a lot of effort, doesn't it? Yeah, behind another red door. Lovely. What's going on? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and half the building blow up. Nobody seems to be that phased about it, but you know. Oh, they're burning to death. Oh, the humanity. Don't jump over that. Like no, okay, we're getting a long way around again. Right up here. No, no! Get off the lift, woman! Little caution again. Oh, blind me. I died. Oh, I'm back again. Okay. Get a data. Yes, we're getting the data. But uh, yes, yes, this is elevator action. <coughs> and it's nice. And oh, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Ah, yeah, well, okay, there you go. Sort of running out of things to say about that, but it is good. Okay, so lastly, we have this. What is this, you ask? Well, it's got big ass monster trucks in it. This is Power Wheels. So, we've got a choice there country race, mud race, icy road, oh, car, cr car crushing. Oh, car crushing. We'll go with car crushing. Demolition Derby. Do some things. Run over cars. I'm going to hazard a guess. Right. And we're off. And okay. And there's a skull thing at the side. And it looks like I've got to crush as more things than this guy can. Before the end of the lap or the race or something. Time limit, yeah there we go. That's probably it. But somehow he's winning. There's a light show, let's use that. This is quite entertaining. I mean, it's no great shakes in terms of uh, the graphics, really, is it? I mean, I was only just saying about tighter scaling games. I mean, it's quite good, but the backgrounds are very bland in it. But it's a... Uh, it's it's all white, isn't it? Just move along at a failed speed. And I won! Hurrah! 300 things squashed. Oh, and a little bit of a graphical glitch there. Oh, oh wait, we're going to Rainbow Work Road. Okay, round two, highway. And we're off again. Oh, blimey, <laughs> we're crushing stuff. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, somebody's commute to work is being really majorly fucked up here. The huge, the oncoming cars are getting absolutely trashed, and the graphics are well. It's the uh, oh shit, the graphical effect is uh, turning out to be quite good. Even if I did just completely fall off the side of the uh, motorway in my monster truck, the motorways have barriers to the side, but I don't think they're built to. Um, 
withstand monster truck and I'm not talking west my monster truck's looking a little bit messed up I do have a lot more in the way of squashed cars than the other guy it's a lot of mess which is fine I'm fine with a lot of mess and I completely trounced him as well look at that 263 to 159 that's how you rest, wreck up the uh, morning commute. Is that it? Just two rounds? Hurrah! I win some ticker tapes and my truck's miraculously back to normal. Lovely. Game over. It's a very short game. Oh well. Enjoyable. Enjoyable. So there was four more Toto Arcade games. Which do you think of them? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off.